How's it going, everybody? It's another edition of Xerox Blueprint here from the star in Frisco. Kyle Yeomans alongside Nick Eatman of DallasCowboys.com. And Nick, uh, coming up this Sunday, you've got the Minnesota Vikings on the tap. And, well, it's going to be tough to stop Dalvin Cook. Is that really where you got to start if you're the Cowboys? Yeah, 1,000% one, 1, you have to stop uh, Dalvin Cook. I mean, he's the guy for, for Minnesota that really makes it go. And, and you know, we, we've said this so many times, Kyle, about you got to make – you know, the quarterback beat him. You got to make Baker Mayfield beat him. Well, they couldn't with Cleveland. They couldn't even make, you know, Kyle Allen beat him. They, they made plays, but it was because of the running game. So going up against Minnesota, that's it. You're going to have to try to make Kirk Cousins beat him. He's 2-6 and six lifetime against the Cowboys. That's just easier said than done because they're going to run the football with Dalvin Cook, and the Cowboys have got to prove that they can stop him. We've seen the last two weeks that Philadelphia and, and Pittsburgh, they kind of got away from the run for whatever the reason. Mm -hmm. Minnesota's not doing that. <laughs> Does it make you feel a little bit better, though, with the fact that you had a good running defense against Boston Scott and Philly, and then you were, of course, able to shut down James Conner last week? Does it make you feel a little more at ease with this week coming up? Not really, because I, I, like I said, I think Minnesota's going to keep running that football with, with Dalvin Cook. That's what they want to do. They, they want to pound the ball, and, and they'll do it on first down, second down, third down. They, they're going to run the ball. So uh, they're going to put the, the Cowboys' defensive line to test. We're seeing them play better. Uh, th that's the thing I think you can say is they've played better. I think Neville Gallimore's obviously playing in the middle. He's playing really well, and I think d Law's finally healthy. I think they're stopping the run better. They're going to get after him. But um, – the thing to be to be really watchful for with Minnesota, we saw it last year, is those screens. Yeah. Because as soon as you think that it's a fake run, then he uh, Cook sneaks out, and then it's you know he's busting 40, 50 yard screens. He had 150 plus yards last year in the 28, 24 win for Minnesota. But flipping sides of the football, you look at really the the defensive front for Minnesota. It's not as scary as the last couple weeks. I mean, Dallas has faced the three statistical leaders in terms of pass rush. Well, that's not the case. Do you feel better? about how this offense can fare. I do, and, and, and I think with Zach Martin, we'll, we'll see where he is with his calf injury. He should be able to play, but, you know, Andy Dalton has only played, I think, a half a quarter with, with an offensive line that had Andy uh, that had Zach Martin, so I think that's certainly going to help. Uh, he kind of solidifies that entire offensive line, and I think they'll be able to run the ball. You know, it's been a couple of weeks off now for Zeke. He's, there's been a lot of talk about how they're going to run the ball with those two guys. I would imagine that Zeke's going to be running it as best as he can this week. He'll be healthy. He'll be ready to go. And then when he needs a break, Tony Pollard should come in. So this could be a good running day for the Cowboys. Yeah, you got Tony Pollard. you got Ezekiel Elliott, who both really kind of need to continue some momentum. Yep. They've been running the ball better, but one, once again, Zach Martin's a big part of that. Sure. They need him healthy and ready to go. He's Nick Eatman. I'm Kyle Yeomans. That's going to do it for this week's edition of Xerox Weekly.